Hey there, it's E Squared. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily. And we are here to keep things simple and fun. Are you starting to book or think about booking cap and gown sessions for seniors, whether it be college or high school? Well, we're here today to give you some pose ideas for those sessions. And make sure to stick around all the way until the end because we have something special just for you. By the end of this video, we hope you can walk into your graduation or cap and gown session with some fun pose ideas to keep your seniors excited. And don't forget, for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications of future videos. All right, let's dive in to some fun, exciting cap and gown pose ideas for your seniors. So obviously our first one and everyone's requested one, they always ask if they can do it, is a uh, cap toss. And so we can either have them toss the cap up, looking up at it, or they also like doing this one where they toss it towards us like a Frisbee. Sometimes you have to do those a few times and snap really quickly. One of our favorite poses is just having them walk. And when you have them walk, as you can see here, we always, always, always have them unzip their gown. Rarely do we do any pictures of them with their gown fully zipped up. It looks a lot nicer this way. If you have a girl, the girl can hold on to her gown as she's walking and kind of swish it as well. Another pose idea is just a simplified pose that you might do with a senior anyway, and just have them put their hands high up on their hip and maybe pop a or high up on their hip and then maybe pop their knee. Another walking variation that we really like is draping the gown over their shoulders. So as you can see here, we have her walking away and peeking back at us with it draped over her shoulder. And then we have the other girl here walking towards us with it draped over her shoulder as well. Just take a second and comment below. Do you have a pose tip or trick that you use at almost every senior session? Let us know. Another great thing to do, depending on if they have the um, props to do this, is if they have cords, they can grab onto their cords and kind of sway them around or play with them. Or as you can see on the right, she's just playing with her tassel. Another fun one that you can do with senior girls is have them kick up a leg. You can have them put, put their cap up in the air or down low and kind of have them celebrate as well. You can do a lot of variations with a pose like this. When it comes to cap and gown photos, there are lots of different things you can do and it can get really overwhelming because they have their cords, they have their gown, they have their cap, they have their tassel, they can unzip it, they can take their gown off and throw it over their shoulder, they can take their cap off and hold on to it. So there's a lot that you can choose from, which is nice because it gives you variety, but we do like to keep things simple. One thing though that is extra, extra fun and we encourage our seniors to do because it gets it a little bit, keeps it a little bit more personalized, parents also really like this, is encourage them to bring props or sometimes we will just have props for them to choose from if they want to grab something. And so as you can see here, they could bring a prop of their a baby picture of them or a little kid picture and hold it out. Maybe they want something with college gear, whether it be a flag, a banner, or maybe their college shirt underneath their gown. Um, or a lot of times we like to bring the big balloons with the year that they're graduating. We just quickly want to show you a few other poses we like to do just to add a little extra special touch. So as you can see here, the one on the left is just a fun one. Peace sign, walking away, looking like they're saying peace out high school. Another one is just focusing on the cap as they're walking or holding it, whatever that might be. And then on the white, on the right, she is just celebrating there. A few more interesting or fun ones that you can kind of have in your back pocket as ideas is splitting their face in half and really take, getting a close up more of the cap and tassel or in the middle, just a different view, a blurred view where you focus on the tassel or the year that's hanging from the tassel and they're blurred in the background or just a simple one of them walking away with all of their stuff. Now, when it comes to our cap and gown mini sessions that we offer, we encourage them to bring their family or their friends to hop in the pictures as well. So usually we'll start out by doing some individual shots of the senior, and then if they have family or friends along, like you can see here, we will have them pop in as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of ideas and can get really overwhelming if you think of all the different pieces that go into getting dressed for cap and gown and all of the props. But we like to keep it as simple as possible and we pick a handful of poses and we keep repeating those same poses with all of our seniors. 
We hope that that video was helpful for you and got you excited for your cap and gown sessions that you're going to do. And if you are interested in senior photography, which we're assuming you are because you're looking at this video, we have a free senior posing guide for girls and guys in the description below. So make sure to check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. If you don't already, follow us on Instagram at eSquared.photography for more tips and tricks as well and see some behind the scenes of us at sessions. And we will see you next time.